My name is Tom Peters. I'm the Chief Engineer in the Wireless Telecommunications Bureau. Spectrum is the collection of radio waves um, up to visible light. You know, there's a whole range of spectrum that is available for transmitting information over. Um, and so that spectrum is broken up into what we can call bands. And what you might be familiar with uh, is the FM radio tuner in your car. That band, as you, the numbers on the dial will indicate, goes from 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz, and there it goes. And um, that is a slice of this large range of spectrum that's available um, uh, for, for transmitting radio waves. You might be wondering, what, the, what, are the, what is a megahertz? What do we mean by that? <laughs> Radio waves all travel at the speed of light. Um, so they're all going at the same speed. Um, and they're waves. The time it takes for the crest of each wave to pass by, that's, that's the frequency. So the units of hertz, a hertz is basically one over seconds. When you're listening to a station close to 88 megahertz, you're getting a mega means million. You're getting 88 million crests of these waves <laughs> coming at you every second. So FM radio is one use. We all use it, or most of us use it. Um, AM radio is another use. But, and, and your cell phone is another use. Uh, the federal government has lots of uses. All these different uses have different needs and different technical criteria that they need to meet. And, um, and for that reason, the spectrum needs to be chopped up. What the FCC does is manage all the commercial uses of spectrum, and what NCIA does is manage all the federal uses of spectrum. For mobile telephony, um, where devices are limited in size, there's a sweet spot of spectrum in which the, the propagation is very good, um, meaning it travels far and it travels in buildings uh, through walls very well. Um, so you get very good coverage. That particular spectrum we call the UHF band, ultra high frequency band, is um, what we, it's commonly referred to in the press as beachfront spectrum. Uh, the UHF spectrum is right in that sweet spot where you can build a device that's of a reasonable size and of reasonable power, have reasonable battery life, and you get the benefit of having great propagation characteristics, which means that, as I said, that the signal travels farther. What that means is to cover a given area, you need fewer base stations, fewer towers. Um, and that means cost savings. That there is a cost advantage and a, a benefit to consumers to having more spectrum available for broadband use, given the um, projected demand that we're expecting to see in the next um, five to 10 years.